Hey Cake Chums and welcome back to my channel. So if you've already liked my Facebook page, you would have seen that this weekend I headed over to Northern Ireland for the first ever Northern Ireland Sugar Expo, aka NICE, or NICE as I repeatedly called it constantly across the weekend. Naturally I took my camera with me so I could share some of it with you guys. Unfortunately I was so busy that I didn't manage to get any kind of shots of me talking to camera at all. Um, I didn't want to waste what I got though because I still want you guys to see just what was going on while I was over there. So I thought I'd do a bit of a... I thought I'd go old school, go back to the sort of stuff I was doing right at the beginning before I realised that I can actually talk to a camera and just show you um, kind of a little bit of the flavour of what was going on over the weekend. Don't forget you can also head over to Facebook and check out the official NICE Facebook page which I'll link in the comments below. I was going live on that page all day on Saturday so you've got snippets of loads of the demonstrations that were being done by awesome cake artists like uh, Natalie Porter, um, Molly from um, Extreme Cake Makers was there, Rosie Cake Diva of course was our awesome host across the whole weekend, Gavin from Putty Cakes, the awesome Pedro Leon, Sebastian Haramendi was there, um, just loads and loads of incredible talents even more than the ones I'm listing now so do feel free to go over and check out the official NICE Facebook... NICE! See, I can't help it. Do feel free to go over and check out the official NICE Facebook page and just have a look at those as well. Um, but hopefully I've got enough footage that I can put together a bit of a, uh, a flavour of the weekend for you. You'll have to excuse my haggard expression. I managed to do a whole week of school, um, including two parents' evenings and well book day, then leave school, fly directly to Northern Ireland, meet up with my friend Vicky from Yellow Bee Cake Company along the way of course. Um, we landed after a bit of a delay in Northern Ireland around, I think it was about nine o'clock, taxi to the hotel, met up with the guys for a bit of a check out of what had gone on on setup day and the obligatory selfies of course. Um, and then it was straight up to bed with some room service but Saturday morning um, things began in earnest. Five o'clock I was up um, I was downstairs at the show at 7 and um, kind of didn't stop from then until about midnight and then all over again on Sunday as well um, and then of course the show wrapped up Sunday afternoon straight back in a taxi straight back to the airport unfortunately we were delayed and then um, eventually got home probably not too shy of midnight and was up at 5 again for school on Monday so yeah pretty tired <laughs> but I had such a fantastic weekend, um, meeting so many new people, hanging out with so many of my favorite cake people as well. Um, so I don't regret a single second of it and I'd do it again in a heartbeat. Um, but anyway, enough of me talking, let's get to the video.
<laughs> Rob, you'll have to take a photo of this little boy because he wants to be on. Again, it just makes it look a little bit cuter. And they are literally just flat in circles. One, two, squish them on. You're doing it backwards. Nose. How and impressive look. is that? They can finally see. How am I doing for time? How's it look? Time-wise? What time do I finish? 11. Oh, that's fine. And then we're going to airbrush again. Similar sort of technique. I'm going to put more colour around anywhere there's a seam or a join. And I'm going to keep the inside of the ears and this kind of muzzle part a little bit paler. Um, oh, have you seen these before, by the way? No, These what are is my that? new favourite thing. These are reusable cake boards from Cake Tools Direct. Um, they cost, I think, about £10.5. So you not that's the same price as a normal cake board. Plastic, recyclable, and you can send it back to them for recycling. They reuse it to make more. And they're dishwasher safe. Because I do all my airbrushing on cake boards. If it's a cake for home, I still put it on a cake board. I did the same as you. You said, so, so really, this is, uh, surprisingly, how has nobody thought of this before? Because the amount of boards that I've wasted using them to do this sort of thing, but then they're not good enough to put a cake on. Or... And we're going to need our glamorous assistants again, I'm afraid, ladies. Do we want both of them? I think so. Ladies and gentlemen, our glamorous assistants. Come on, girls. You know what to do. You know the score. Next year, they'll be like, we don't want to go again. <laughs> right, here's a tip. Just pretend we know what's going on, OK? Look confident. And if it goes wrong, it's his fault. Roll out some blue modelling paste, which Rosie will help with. Yep. And then I'd like you, ladies, to pop out lots and lots of stars. Have you done the before? Yeah. Literally a stripe, straight up the front, not too thick or wide would be a better way of saying it because the last thing you want to do is stick on the ribbon and the water sprays out the side. Put the ribbon on. That's straight. And then as we smush it down, it will push the water underneath it to make sure it's nice and stuck. And back oh, to the water. Oh, 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 oh. That's fine. That's fine. Panic not. <laughs> Told you my brand is fat dash. This is what we do. Same again on the other side. How we do go? Have, have we got enough stuff, do you think? Yeah, because we've got well, I've got another job for them actually. Okay, so well, they keep doing that until we're ready for the next job. Okay. They're definitely going to earn their lack of money today. <laughs> They're going to earn their lack of money mm -hmm. today. <laughs> do they do this at home? Oh, they do. Good. So, no, I've never really wanted children, but <laughs> it must be really useful to have a, an unpaid workforce when you're running behind with the cake orders. I have four. I've seen and they've videos. all done stuff like this, yeah. Now I've, I'm at the stage where they carry cakes. And drive from places. Well, did you see the videos when she had her broken leg and she literally just sat in a chair and was like, fetch me that, do this, do. roll that out? I did. It was genius. I did.
you like to say something about your category, Vicky? Oh, I'm a bit scared. I didn't know I was speaking. Not, look at them, they're not scary, they're so friendly. So there you go, that was the first ever Northern Ireland Sugar Expo, aka NICE. I do hope you enjoyed checking out just what we got up to over the first ever NICE show weekend. And of course, if you fancy joining us for the next one in 2020, make sure you've headed over to Facebook and liked the NICE Facebook page to keep track of everything that's going on. You'd think after such a busy weekend that I'd be taking it easy this weekend, wouldn't you? But uh, no, I'm actually off on my travels yet again. So next week's video will show you just where I've been and what I've been up to, but you may well see some familiar faces. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the thumbs up icon down below. And if you want to see more videos from Mr. Baker's blog, you can hit that subscribe button down there on the right. If you've already subscribed, you can also hit the bell icon to make sure you get a notification of every time I post. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you soon. Take care.